Okay, when I started recording this video encoding job, it was 34% complete. And it took about 17 minutes for it to complete and then upload the results back to wherever it puts it. So I've compressed this 17 minutes down to about a minute just to show you. But what I wanted to point out was the fact that historically these jobs have taken eh, about five minutes is what I've observed. And they have always paid out somewhere between 0.8 T fuel all the way to 1 T fuel, give or take. And the observation that I have, the last two jobs that it did, the amount of T-fuel that was earned was significantly less. Don't know why that is. It's just what I've observed. So here we are. Let's just look at the history. And... Uh, as far back as it shows, it's uh, 8.9 for this one, 1 for this one, 0.9959 for that one, 0.8809 for that one. So I would say that uh, something has obviously changed because these last two, the one that happened on April 11th, paid 0 0.2064 and the one that it happened on April 9th paid 0.1649 so something has obviously changed that affects the amount that it's paying okay the uh, math shows that this latest job which paid 0.2064 T fuel. If you divide that by 0.88 T fuel, which is this job here, you get 23.5%. So that's 75, 76% drop in the amount of T fuel that it earned for doing that video encoding job. And of course, this latest job took, I'm guesstimating, 20 to 25 minutes to complete because I started recording it when it was 34% complete. And for it to go from there to 100% complete took 17 minutes. So if all the jobs take that amount of time, you assuming that uh, you you could get jobs nonstop, you could do three of them in an hour's time. But I don't know what has occurred that uh, resulted in this drop, but it's very obvious that something has changed that governs the amount the video encoding jobs pay in the form of T-Fuel. So that's my observation. One possibility that would explain the drop in the amount of T-Fuel is if they want to attract video encoding jobs, they've got to be very competitive cost-wise in the industry. And seeing as how this is in beta, they may have anticipated that they've got to reduce the amount of T-Fuel that is paid for a video encoding job so that they can be cost competitive with the rest of the industry because people that need video encoding are not going to jump over and start using the Theta Edge Compute to do it unless it's a good move financially and reduces their costs. So they may have looked at that and said, okay, we can afford to pay this much for a video encoding job if we want to be competitive in the industry. So my guess is that's what is responsible for the reduction in the amount that you get paid for doing a video encoding job. Think of it this way. If you're an employee taking orders at your favorite fast food restaurant and you're making an $8 minimum wage, your employer can afford to pay you to stand there and take orders. But if they pass a law that says now your employer has to pay $15 an hour, most likely your employer is going to fire you, automate the process, you know, because it's cheaper to automate the process. And they got to look at the bottom line. So $8 an hour, you got a job. $15 an hour, you don't have a job. Well, 
same thing here if uh, if they're charging more than what the industry as a whole is charging then they're not going to have any video encoding jobs but if they're charging less than what the industry is charging they will have video encoding jobs i'd rather have a little bit of money coming in than no money coming in so that's my analysis of what's probably going on there okay if you found this helpful Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out and I'll see you in the next video.